My name's Austin, and I'm 16 years old. And I go to Camden High School right outside of Columbia, and I have big aspirations and dreams for the future, playing baseball or art. When I'm 18, I hope to go skydiving and just see the world and jump out of planes and be adventurous. Well, I'm fortunate to go to a church where we have a pastor where, you know, we're just challenged with the gospel and to really live that out in our lives. But when he brought up my Hope America and he said he wants us to, to take charge and to be leaders in this, and I just was inspired and, and had to do something about it. I'm very impressed with young people today. In fact, we have young people in our church who are really committed to the Lord. They're very serious about their walk with the Lord. They are talking about My Hope America. They are talking to their friends about it. They are constantly witnessing with Facebook and Twitter and so forth. And uh, so I believe that there's gonna be a good response to it. It is just my belief, it's my prayer that God will use My Hope America in a way that turns America back to God. I think we still have a chance for revival in America, but it, it, it won't start if we treat this like a program. What I think is so cool about My Hope is not a program. It's about, you know, inviting people into your lives and just saying, you know, this is my story. This is what God did for me. In my life for a long time, I wanted a private relationship with Jesus. I wanted to be close enough that I got the benefits from saying I was a Christian or I got the joy or the peace that I thought that would bring, but I wasn't ready to give God everything. And I really, I, I didn't think that I needed to. But then God really started speaking to me over the summer and he, he just told me like, there's some things in life you can't just halfway do. You can't halfway get married. You can't halfway have a baby. You can't halfway go skydiving and you can't halfway follow Jesus. And when I came to that realization and My Hope America was presented to me, I was like, God, I'm ready to surrender. I'm ready to give it all to you. I'm ready to go all in. The Apostle Paul said that he was willing to give up his place in heaven if somehow, as a result of that, that uh, people would come to know Jesus as Savior. That's love. That's sacrificial love. And that should be characteristic of the church. What if really across the country, across the nation, across the world even, you know, churches were united? The people of God, really, which is what the church is, came together and just became fired up about one night. What, what would that look like? The ultimate goal for me out of my hope is that when people leave your house or when people leave the church or wherever they attend, that it not be over, that they see the clear message of the gospel presented through Billy Graham and through your story, and that that just be lived out in everyday life. And when we do that, I think that's when the next great revival would be.